we are going to have discussion on some important points related to capacitor and the first point is for DC source under steady state condition the capacitor will act as an open circuit by DC source we mean the voltage provided by the source is equal to some constant value and by steady state condition we mean we are done with all the transients and now everything is settled we will talk about steady state in more detail when we will discuss the chapter steady state analysis and whenever these two conditions are there the capacitor will act as an open circuit now we will justify this statement we know voltage offered by the source is equal to some constant value and therefore the time rate of change of the voltage will be equal to zero and let us assume v is the voltage across the capacitor and therefore current through the capacitor will be equal to capacitance of the capacitor multiplied to dv by dt and dv by dt is equal to zero so we are having zero here and due to this reason we can say that current i is equal to zero therefore current i passing through the capacitor is equal to zero and hence no current is passing through the capacitor and therefore we can say that the capacitor is acting as an open circuit this is the condition for open circuit we already know this even after applying the source current through the capacitor is equal to zero this implies this implies the reactance offered by the capacitor is equal to infinity and infinite reactance or infinite resistance we consider as the resistance or reactance provided by the air and therefore we can consider the open circuit having the infinite reactance we can also calculate the reactance which is equal to 1 over 2 pi f c and we know for dc source there will be no frequency that is frequency will be equal to 0 hertz and when you put 0 here you will get the reactance offered by the capacitor equal to infinite the same thing so i believe after this discussion the first point is clear to you now we will move on to the second point and according to the second point the capacitor does not allow the sudden change in voltage the inductor does not allowed the sudden the sudden change in current but here in the case of capacitor it is not allowing the sudden change in the voltage let us justify this the sudden change means very small change in time dt will be nearly equal to zero and change in voltage means dv is going to be some finite value so dt is zero dv is finite and therefore we can write dv by dt equal to finite over zero and we know the current through the capacitor is equal to c dv by dt and from here we can say that current i is equal to c multiplied to some finite value which is dv this one divided by dt which is zero so we are getting i equal to infinity and it is not possible to provide the current having the infinite value so this particular thing is not possible and therefore our assumption that there is a sudden change in voltage is not true so we have proved that capacitor will not allow the sudden change in voltage and this particular point is an important point 
Now let's move on to the third point. For non-sinusoidal excitations, we perform the analysis in the time domain or in the Laplace domain and in time domain, the relation between current and voltage of a capacitor is IT equal to C D V T by DT. This is in time domain. And in Laplace domain or in S domain, we have current IS, which is the Laplace transform of current IT equal to CS VS. This is in Laplace domain or in S domain. We are going to see the use of all these in the coming lectures. And while solving the questions, all these will make more sense. And whenever the excitation is sinusoidal, then we perform the analysis of the circuit in phasor domain. And in phasor domain for a capacitor, we have current I phasor equal to J omega capacitance V phasor. This is in phasor domain. So this is all for the important points related to the capacitors and now I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.